because of the coronavirus, you will be quarantined. But you have two choices. A, you can be quarantined at home with your husband and with your children. Or B. 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 Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, I am uh, just gonna do something. Honestly, I don't. I don't know what I'm gonna do today. Um, so today's eyes are gray. I think they're silver gray. I think that's the color. And yes, they're Iris Beauty as well. Uh, my regular foundations here, uh, the L'Oreal Infallible. Uh, this Elf. It's the hydrating um, camo concealer, and this one is in the color tan latte so Okay guys, so I am going to stop 
right here. And we're gonna do a mini haul. Cause I did, um, I purchased a couple things and um, I really didn't know when they were coming. And Jerry just brought them in to me. <laughs> And uh, so I get to open them for you. So um, so we're gonna see what we got. And yeah, you know, obviously I know what I got, but I just wanna share it with you guys. Um, so I got my hands all cleaned up. Uh, so hang on. Okay. So our first box, is um this is Ulta and um I believe that these are lashes because um I'm like dead out of lashes I don't really have any left from Ulta so I'm opening it up we gotta put on our glasses so we can see all right, so I got some things in here that um, I've really been looking forward to getting. So the first item is the Ardell Wispies. It's the original feathered lash with Invisiband. So that's the first item. Next, I got an eight ounce bottle of rose water. Really been looking forward to getting this. Next, yeah, I wanted to get this one too. This one is Fake Awake. And this is Tarte. This is, it's the eyeliner that goes on the bottom. Normally I will, you know, line my waterline on the bottom. Just, just give my bottom lash line a brighter look. So that's this, I'm excited about this. And um, there's a little tip on the end. I guess it's sort of like a smudger. And, oh, okay, so another pair of lashes. And these, I was really excited to get. These are lip exfoliators. One is sweet cherry, the other is brown sugar. So those two there to get these here. They come in these really cute package. Isn't that cute? Like little lipsticks. Oh, God. Mmm, mmm. That's nice. Oh my gosh. And it says gently exfoli exfoliates lips to help remove dry, chapped skin, infused with vitamin E, shea butter, avocado, grape, and jojoba oil. So you apply to clean, damp lips and massage in circular motion to exfoliate. Use a moistened cotton pad with water and gently wipe away scrub allow let's see follow with the lip balm or gloss to condition and this one is sweet cherry it's that one and there is the sweet cherry mm -hmm. I like that <laughs> I know it's crazy but they do taste good okay so that's my Ulta box Put that stuff back in there. Okay. And then I bought some <laughs> um, Bosch and Lom, the uh, BioTrue. That's what I use to clean at the lenses and to store them in. And then this one is Becca. <laughs> this is the one I've been waiting on. Um, I had um, told you guys that I did a sampling. There's the box. Hey there, glow getter. That's kind of cool. But I did a sample of um, a Becca product. They package it so pretty. Yeah, it's just really nice. I, I love it when they package stuff really nicely. So there's that. Oh, and the, the tissue paper is sort of iridescent. It's really cool. And so I have a couple of um, 
they just gave me a little samples, couple of samples. So there is the Backlight Primer, which is the product that I tried um, last week on its own and it was amazing. The Under Eye Brightening, which I'm excited to try that. That might be another pickup. And then there is, um, it's Liquefied Light Highlighter and um, and the, I guess it's, one is passion, creativity, and strength. Um, I don't know, I'll have to figure out what these are, but there is that, and that. And this is what I picked up. I picked up the backlight filter, uh, yeah. I tried it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. So yeah, I went ahead and got that. I just loved this product so, so much. Yeah, let's see. And it just illuminates the skin. It's just beautiful. I just love that. So that's what I picked up from Becca. So that's it. That's the, um, that's what I picked up that I just wanted to share with you guys. And we'll go ahead and finish up this look now. Maybe do something with this gold here on the lid. So maybe we'll go in with um, this brown color here and see if we can get something going on just to carve out the crease area there. So I'm gonna really um, try to get that nice and dark in there. So we worked with um, this Becca 35OM and I went in first with this chocolate color here and then I went into this more of a um, reddish brown color here and then back over here to this brown. So we worked with these three colors here. This one, these two, and this one. Those were the colors that we did to create that. So, so I'm gonna use that um, MAC 217, and I'm gonna go with that darkest color first and run it under. So I started with this one, so we're just gonna go backwards. Started with that one, then I'm gonna go here <laughs> in that reddish brown color. And then back over here to that chocolate color. Um, I think I'm just gonna take my finger and go into this gold here from, this is the um, Urban Decay, it's the Shadow Box palette. And I'm just gonna pick up some of that gold on the finger and just press that onto the lid.
just gonna kind of blend that in. Let's do, I'm just gonna go into that chocolate brown. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put on a liner and some lashes, and then I'll come back with the final look. <laughs> okay guys, this is the final look. So I went ahead and um, as you can see, applied my lashes and my liner and all that good stuff. I did use in the waterline the Sorry about that. So I did use in the waterline the um, Fake Awake. This is by Tarte, and it's the that nude color pencil. <clears throat> and I just use it in the, the waterline just to kind of um, you know brighten up there. And it says I highlight is uh, pretty much the color. So. But um, besides that, I went ahead and threw the lashes on. The Ardell Wispies, however, I don't know if I really like them. I had to stack these to get um, the volume that I like, but they seem to be a little short. So um, I'll probably just throw these in the kit. But anyhow, so that was pretty much it. I just threw on, you know, a tiny bit of blush and a little nude lip, and that's pretty much it. But anyhow, so that is it for the makeup. And um, so I wanna share with you guys my wine selection today. Okay, first of all, I didn't pick up the wine. My husband called me from the grocery store. It's like, hey, you want a bottle of wine? I said, sure, you know, I'm doing white, so get me like a Pinot Grigio or something like that. So he said, okay, fine. And then I get it and I'm like, oh yeah, great. You know, I've got it. He got me a Pinot Noir. So y'all know Pinot Noir is red, so it's not my fault. I know I was supposed to do white, but I'm doing red. But anyhow, our wine selection today is Miraso. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Miraso or Mirasau one or the other. <laughs> but anyhow, um, I uh, saw a very interesting clip on um, this winery by this family. Um, they were like one of the first wineries here in the United States. Um, I guess the uh, great, 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 great grandfather came from France and during the whole gold rush back in the 1850s and um, ended up in California actually panning for gold but realized that the soil in California was incredibly rich for um, just very fertile full soil so they thought it'd be great to bring the I believe they said the um, I can't remember which grape it was but it's whatever grape that the Pinot Noir is made from. Um, anyhow, uh, Mirasol, 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 is um, a very affordable wine. And uh, this particular one, I think the price point was $9. Fresh fruit notes of cherry, raspberry, strawberry, with a hint of vanilla. So I'll let you see that beautiful color. Um, you know, obviously it's not as deep and dark as, you know, your blends or your Cabernets or your Zinfandel or either your uh, Shiraz or, or your um, Syrahs. 
but there it is. I'd say it's middle of the road. And yeah, I already poured it because I wanted to give it some time to breathe and um, just to see. So it, yeah, I mean, right off the bat, you can smell that cherry, strawberry. It's very, very fruity, so. It's really, really pretty wine. Um, yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> when you open the bottle, let it breathe, pour a little bit in your glass, just, you know, swirl it around, you know, allow that uh, air to get into there and open up some of those fruit notes. Um, always use a nice crystal stem so you can get, um, you know, the, the full effect of the wine. Very nice. And this one is a 2018. All right, guys, so that is our video today. I am so sorry it's so long, but, um, you know, just when I got the packages, I wanted to share and let you guys see what I got. But anyhow, let's get ready for before the gray and after series. I know that you're going to love this segment as well. Taking the plunge into your gray hair journey, transitioning into gray. <laughs> but anyhow guys, um, take care, be safe out there, um, stay protected, and um, we will see you in the next one. before the green and after series. So you guys, here are our models. Okay guys, first up is Nakisha, AKA Keisha by her friends. Keisha started her journey back on her 44th birthday last year. And um, she also told me that she's been coloring since she was 20 years old. So guys, this is Keisha now. I love Keisha's versatility when it comes to her hair. I mean, she really does an amazing job with just taking risks and doing different styles with her hair. Here, she's showing you her peekaboo style, showing off that Great halo. It's so pretty. She's beautiful hair. Okay, y'all, y'all can see here that Keisha, <laughs> she is on her hair game because she is styling that gray hair to a T. I love this shot. It's so pretty. Okay guys, next up is Monica. Now Monica's story is pretty great. Um, Monica shared with me that she never really wore her, her natural hair. Um, you know, she covered it up often with different protective styles. So when she decided to go gray and natural, she discovered a part of herself that she didn't think was very beautiful. Guys, this is Monica now. Look at that gray, look at her curls. My gosh, I would never guess in a million years that she didn't have a love relationship with this head of hair. Beautiful, stunning. Don't you ever cover the hair up again, girl. It's beautiful. And last but definitely not least is Miss Aya. Now Aya, clearly exudes confidence. So going gray was clearly going to be a great decision and one she would embrace 
wholeheartedly. Guys, this is Aya. I love her tapered hair. It shows off her beautiful gray pattern and those curls are popping. Aya, your hair is gorgeous. Okay, so this is the end of this segment. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Keisha, Monica, and Aya. Your hair, your confidence, absolutely beautiful. And we love it.